DC. Ain't nobody gon' say nothing about me. Yeah. Ain't nobody gon' say nothing about me. I hate it, can't ever say nothing around me. Ain't nobody gon' say nothing about me. What's going on, Reapers? So, today we're getting into the diet series and we're gonna touch on intermittent fasting or IF. So, with IF, there's a lot of controversy that follows intermittent fasting. A lot of that is due to the fact that a lot of people just aren't privy to the information about it or aren't fully really clear about it. So this video is not telling you whether it's good or bad, it's giving you the facts and also making it to where it clears up some of the falsehoods that come with it, right? So to help run my point is, I'm gonna give you guys scenarios. So scenario, scenario is, let's say you're on an island, right? And you have not eaten in 36 hours, right? And in order for you to eat, you have to survive. So you have to go and you may need to hunt, you may need to climb trees, you may need to farm, whatever the case may be. You may need to do certain things to survive a lot of vigorous activity. Now, you have plenty of water, but can you survive on this island and do what you need to do to live without having eaten in such a long period of time? What the f is he talking about? And we'll get to that at the end of this video. So to start off with, what is intermittent fasting? So intermittent fasting is not necessarily your diet. It's telling you when to eat and when not to eat, right? And you want to, when intermittent fasting, you want to fast for at least 16 hours a day. And the reason why is because after four hours, your insulin levels drop to where your body's burning nothing but body fat. And 16 hours a day means that once those insulin levels drop, you're burning fat for at least 12 hours a day. So that's important because let's say you're, with the biotypes we touched on, let's say you're an endomorph, right? So endomorph, when your insulin shoots up, it stays up for some time, especially if you're intaking food that is high in carbohydrates and fat, such as like deep fried foods and things like that, and sweets. A whole lot of carbs, a whole lot of fats, not a lot of protein. Your insulin levels are gonna spike and not gonna come down for some time. But with intermittent fasting, you're able to use some of that stored fat that you have as opposed to just running off of straight carbohydrates, right? Fat and, and body fat is stored energy, right? So with stored energy, your body is a survival machine. So what it is, when you, when you start eating and you store that fat, it's for situations when you don't have enough food. So one of the falsehoods that comes with intermittent fasting is that you're starving yourself, right? It's not necessarily the case. You aren't eating for a period of time, but for those 24 hours, you're still getting the amount of calories you need. So if I get 2,500 calories in 24 hours, as opposed to eight hours, I still have 2,500 calories for, those, for that day, right? And I'm still getting the amount of protein I need, I'm still getting the carbs, the fats that I may need, for whatever my goals are, is just in a shorter period of time, right? And one of the, another falsehood or an issue that people have in intermittent fasting is, if I don't eat for 16 hours or however long, then I'm burning as much muscle as I am fat. And that's also not true because going back to the scenario on the island, when you are in survival mode, you need to be able to do vigorous activities. So you need to be able to hunt, you need to be able to run, you need to be able to climb, you need to be able to do a lot of things that your muscles are needed for. So if your body's first option is to start eating away at your muscle as opposed to using the stored energy, which is fat, which was there for, then you would subsequently die. You wouldn't be able to do most of the tasks that you need to do because food is not readily accessible all the time if you're not in a modern situation. You can go to a Whole Foods or a Walmart or something like that and get the food you need, but as far as going back to our primitive natures, Food is not always accessible to you. You may not eat for a few days at a time until you catch a buffalo or something like that, or you're waiting for your crops to develop. So because of that, that's why intermittent fasting, you're not gonna burn through all that muscle. And also what happens is when your insulin drops, your body produces something called HGH. What HGH is, is human growth hormone. So with HGH, what happens is your body is protecting this muscle. It's also trying to grow more muscle because since you're in a survival state, you need to be able to use that muscle to do what you need to do. So what's great about instant, what's great about intermittent fasting is your HGH levels can go up as much as 200% when you're, when you're doing intermittent fasting. And you can fast from anywhere from 16 hours to, in some cases, some people do it to like 72 hours. 
I don't recommend going over 48 hours because that's when you start to burn more of your muscle. Uh, not more than you do fat, but you're burning a lot more. You're burning muscle at a higher rate once you go past 48 to 72 hours. So, going back to scenario on the island, you will be able to survive because you're going to be able to hunt. You're going to be able to be more attentive. Your body's producing more HGH. And uh, you're also running off of stored energy. So you are going to be able to survive. Remember, your body is a surviving machine. So another big thing in a minute fasting, when people hear about it, is the first thing that they say is, well, you know, I get lightheaded when I don't eat for some time, or I don't have the energy, or whatever the case may be. And that's perfectly fine. Now, if we're talking about, again, the human body, after some time, you'll be okay. Because if you feel lightheaded and you're on this island, and the first thing you do as soon as you start running around and try to do something is pass out because you haven't eaten in so long, then again, you're going to die. My chest My chest God, take me down. Ah. Your body is not going to let you do that. So, will that subside? Yes, but you don't need to because there's other manners of, of ways in which you can go and burn some of that fat that you have stored in your body. There's keto, there's a Mediterranean diet, there's all sorts of different ways that you can really go about burning more fat, right? So hopefully this gave you guys an idea what intermittent fasting is. We're going to have videos on keto, the, the pescatarian diet, whole other diets that we go, that we'll delve into. And um, remember, we don't chase dreams, we hunt goals, reaper training. Like, subscribe, comment. Appreciate y'all time. See you later.